It's morning in North America, and the sun is rising over the eastern woodlands. We're here in a mixed forest and meadow habitat. It's us, the Krat Brothers. I'm Martin. I'm Chris. It's early morning, and we're looking for one of the busiest creatures in the creature world. You know this animal well, but now it's getting very endangered, so it's really important we find it. We're talking about the, the bumblebee. When you're looking for bumblebees, the best thing to do is to look for what they're looking for, flowers. Flowers are colorful to attract pollinators like wasps, honeybees, and bumblebees. Bumblebee, we're getting lucky. Bumblebee. Bumblebees are such important pollinators. We need them to get many of the fruits, vegetables, and flowers that we love. Thanks, Bumblebee. Chris, a green bee. <laughs> I think it's a bee. I've got one here too. It's a metallic green sweat bee. They can spend many hours of the day collecting food from flower patches, just like a bumblebee. Another one. Oh, when you get a close look at them, they have so many cool features. That long tongue helps them get to the nectar, even in tube-shaped flowers that they have to crawl into. How about those helicopter wings beating almost as fast as a hummingbird's? And that bright yellow color, that's a warning for birds that this bumblebee packs a defensive sting. Imagine if we could buzz around like a bumblebee. Imagine if we had bumblebee powers. What if? <laughs>